a battery that wears out. And right now, I, I'm wearing a wristwatch. My son bought me this wristwatch because right on the back it says, it says no battery ever available. And, it, and I'll read for you what it says. This is the type of thing where... Let's see, it says uh, something like here. I can't see it in either. Never put a battery in it. It's a lifetime battery in this watch. So you see what I'm talking about? They don't go put a little battery in that wears out in the two weeks in anything that they make. So I, but I wasn't thinking in those terms. I was thinking like a human being. So this, this, you know, these aren't easy things to ask, to answer. And a lot of people say you're guessing. Yes, in some cases I am. It's conjecture. I tried to build it up from what I know. And this is the same thing that the British taught me. The British taught me when I worked for them years ago that you don't, in intelligence, yes, look for targets and things. But that's not the main issue. The main thing you look for is intentions. They were right. You defeat an enemy by knowing his intentions, not by one bomb. And this is the same thing as this. Uh, I had to figure, and, and so a lot of, some of it's going to be guesswork, naturally, to build up the mosaic. And I say, I have to think in my own brain, what's his intention? Naturally, I'm going to make mistakes because I don't know too much about him. But at least I can try. And where in this new science, you might be able to fill in or correct the mistakes that I've made that I, because of lack of knowledge. And this is where I think it, it has to come to. Now, another thing, Richard, I've never talked like this to anybody because this wasn't a thing that to discuss in these terms. Maybe with a couple of my science and friends I have, but usually I don't. But yeah. you think that we do have some Italian scientists ready to help us? Sure you do. The way I know this, they have called, they've been calling me. And you know what the main thing they were calling me about that's in the book? When I stated in one line or so in the book that this extraterrestrial is part of the flying saucer, they're all one. This is what they're calling me about, that they want to know, because their opinion is true. They'll help. You got people like Malega. Malegna, what's his name? Malaga. He'll help. Yes, a man sick. But that lecture he gave, he'll, he'll want to help. People like that will come forward. Uh, but when? I don't know when. One day the general told me, when I told him that if we put this implant, ever put it in the human brain, what do we unleash it on the world? Uh, one thing the general said, he said, Phil, yes, it's a danger. Hope the people come after us understand, but it might not be in our lifetime. It wasn't in his lifetime. He died in 1992. And he, uh, that's true. He was th he was, his words were correct. So uh, that's the answer. These are another intelligence. They're ahead of us. They've proven it. And only one simple reason. They can fly in space and we can't. So it boils down to that simple. How are you going to overcome that? You gotta st we don't know anything about the how. So we've got to start with what we know. The little we know is the greatest gift they gave us, the extraterrestrial, not the hardware. And that's the point that I think we've reached. Maybe that's my own preaching. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I can be wrong. And that, that's the way I believe. Now, now, this is a very sensitive subject. The Malanga studied very, very uh, deeply. Um, he believes that the, uh, um, that the French, is, they know a lot of stuff. In Europe, uh, the most advanced people in terms of military apparatuses and so far as so on are the uh, French. Oh. French. French, yeah. The French military. Mm -hmm. And we wonder if the French, the French, they know more than anybody else in Europe. Because we suppose that they do have alien bases in their own territory. And maybe we do have also alien bases here in Italy. Is that possible? 
Yes, it's possible. I don't know anything about it because I, I never bothered to look in that area. The British, after all, they went, they got to Punamundo before we did. They got the documents out of there, what the Germans were doing. So the British might be more advanced than we are. That I don't know. I, I can't answer that, yes or no. I don't know. It's possible. Yeah, everything's possible. People even come to me and say, well, we have underground, but there's underground bases in the South, South Pole. My answer to that is, do you know what it takes to keep a base in the South Pole? Do you know what it takes to supply a base? After all, if there's a base like that in the South Pole, you have to have humans in it. Do you know what it takes to make humans survive down there? What a, what a tremendous effort it would be? And you think that that could be hidden for 50 years or 40 years or 10 years or even one year? Can't be. We had a base in Greenland. And we made special an atomic device to send up our portable to give them water, heat, and electricity. Otherwise, they couldn't survive. They could survive only possibly maybe one year. And after six years, even with those advancements, we took the base away and left it. Because it was too harsh living conditions. We haven't solved those problems that live like that yet. So when these people tell me about the bases in the South Pole, underground, under the ice, and then they come in and say there's a, a Shangri-La there. How come we never heard of this? How come I had all the clearances and never heard of such a thing? But it'd be logical. Just think what it takes to survive in that, in that environment. We aren't that advanced yet. We might have gotten that, but through stupidity otherwise, they made us destroy those things. And you have them, now I give you a copy of them. Written by the U.S. Army, unclassified. You want it there, look at it, here it is. How we made them. Pictures, how they were made. What have we done with them? Nothing. In fact, we did the opposite. We destroyed them. We were given instructions to get rid of them. So, you see, when I hear these things that there are bases in France and bases in England, I say, yeah, it could be. But just think of it. What it takes just to keep something like that secret.